Hi folks, let's take a quick look at installing your rotary using our universal multi-axis subplate. This subplate is compatible with various Haas rotaries, so please take a look at the compatibility table on this subplate's product page before purchasing. For use with other rotaries or machine tool brands, we highly encourage you to double check the fitment using the available solid model, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. The subplate has two use cases and mounting configurations, mounted to a machine table or mounted to a Saunders Machine Works fixture plate. The T-slot mounting option allows you to shift the rotary slightly off of the machine table, saving a few precious inches of machine travel, and while mounting to an SMW fixture plate can allow for some of this overhang, the primary benefit is the ability to repeatably and quickly mount and align the rotary using the subplate. Let's take a quick look at how to install the subplate and your rotary for both applications. If installing the subplate directly on your machine table, there are two options for securing the front mounting slot of the rotary, mounting through the subplate and securing to the machine table with a T-nut, or securing to the subplate using a hex head bolt and the counterboard slot in the underside of the plate. The first of the two is recommended, as it's going to be the most rigid option, especially if you're hanging the rotary off of the edge of the table. The first step to T-slot installation is to decide how much overhang you'd like in your setup. There's no hard rule or recommendation for how much overhang is going to be okay in your specific use case, but it's important to recognize that excessive overhang is going to affect the rigidity of your setup at the end of the day. A good rule of thumb is to keep the center of gravity of the rotary over the table, and this means that the weight will be trying to tip the rotary forward into the solid table instead of back off of the edge and onto the subplate. Once you've determined the overhang, place the subplate on your table in approximately the position you'd like it installed in. If you're mounting the front of the rotary to the subplate and not to the T-slot table, make sure to install this bolt first. The rest of this example is going to show using a T-nut to secure the rotary, but the remaining steps are going to be the same either way, so just keep that in mind. Next up, slide the six T-nuts into position and install the mounting bolts. These can be tightened as high as 60 foot-pounds, but keep in mind the rotary is still going to need to be aligned after installation, so the trim of this plate doesn't have to be perfect. Install the rotary mounting hardware in place. Keep in mind this needs to be loose enough that it can still be adjusted and stick out from the plate far enough that we can slide the rotary in under it. Once slid into place, you can gradually trim the face of the rotary, tightening bolts as you go. For the rear bolts into the aluminum plate, tighten to 45 foot-pounds, and for the front mounting bolt, you can tighten as high as 60 foot-pounds. If installing the subplate on a fixture plate, you'll need to use the counterboard slot in the underside of the plate to secure the front slot of the rotary, unlike with the T-slot table. Install a half 13 bolt with a 3 quarter inch hex head here, then flip the plate and install the bolt for the rear rotary mounting point. Note that you should use the second tapped half 13 hole to allow for access to the subplate mounting holes in the back without removing the rotary to get to them. This hardware should be loose enough that it can be adjusted and protrude far enough that the rotary can be slid into place in the next step. Place the rotary onto the subplate and slide it back against the rear mounting bolt. Tighten both of these bolts so that the rotary is fixed in place, but don't torque these to spec just yet as we'll still have to tram the rotary. Next, install two half inch locating pins into the fixture plate and place the rotary subplate assembly onto these pins. For best repeatability, you can apply some force against the front of the subplate to push it back against the locating pins. Install the half 13 mounting bolts into the subplate and fully tighten them. The torque spec here is dependent on the material of your particular fixture plate, so check out our fixture plate FAQ for our recommendation on torque specs for your plate. You can now loosen the rotary mounting bolts and begin to trim the rotary while gradually tightening them to final tightness. For the rear bolt into the aluminum plate, tighten to 45 foot-pounds. For the front mounting bolt, you may tighten as high as 60 foot-pounds. And that's it! You're ready to get making chips!